welcome to Rise and Shine on the Line. This morning we're all gathering from in our homes to worship together. Let us say our opening response to the words the Lord be with you. You are invited to respond and also with you. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Over to you, Daniel. Great, thanks. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Rise and Shine on the Line. Uh, just when uh, we thought it couldn't get a little bit uh, more strange, we're now in, uh, in our house, in the Herbert House. Uh, you are all welcome uh, to be here. And uh, yeah, we hope that Rise and Shine will be a place where you feel free to be the person that God has created you to be this morning. So uh, in your homes, if you want to make noise, uh, make noise if you want to sit quietly and just let it wash over you then do that as well but uh, welcome to you as as you are if you are new or visiting us uh, this morning then uh, we want to say an extra special welcome to you uh, and uh, we hope you feel able to join in with everything um, so to really stress the point that you are welcome this morning we have a song uh, that we sing together it's called everybody's welcome and uh, I've just uh, I've just lost my dancers, so that's good news. So this song goes, everybody's welcome. Anyone can come to gather in the house of God, and we've got some uh, some moves that we can do for that. Oh, do you know what I forgot to say? I forgot to say this morning that this morning is Reverend Peter's birthday. Happy. So I wonder if we can uh, share as many likes and comments for Reverend Peter. I'm sure he's uh, watching uh, probably later. To be honest, he's probably having a lie in. Because um, why wouldn't you? No, he's there. He's there. He's ah! just said good morning, everybody. Uh, good morning, Peter. Happy birthday. We hope it's a great day for Happy you. Happy birthday. Um, yeah, back to the song. Everybody's welcome. Hi. So we do a step four. We do what's called a box step. So we go, everybody's welcome. And then we step back. And then we do jump. Anyone can come to gather in the house of God. It's family together. So we do the box step again. It's family together. The old and the young. We join. Yeah, there's a jump. To worship as one. Uh, and uh, there's a bit of swaying and that sort of thing. So let's do this together.
Uh, welcome to everyone who's joined us since we started. Uh, if you're used to joining in at nine for Joe Wicks, then I can only uh, profoundly apologise. Um, we're going to continue with Rise and Shine as we would normally do and just see how it works. And so I'm going to invite Lainey to come and lead us in a prayer. This is where we take time to say sorry to God for some of the things that we might have... I'm still here, sorry. Might have said or done or thought that might have made him sad this week. And it's a chance to get right with God before we celebrate him together. So, <clears throat> Take your hands, close them and put them next to one another. Loving God, sometimes the things we do or don't do hurt you and hurt those you love. We are sorry. And we pray, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Now take your hands and point them to your lips where you do your uh, speaking. Loving God, sometimes the things we say or don't say hurt you and hurt those you love. We are sorry and we pray, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Now take your hands and point them to our heads where we do our thinking. Loving God, sometimes the things we think or don't think hurt you and hurt those you love. We are sorry and we pray, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Now squeeze your hands really tight so they feel uncomfortable. And we pray, may the God of love bring us back to himself, forgive us for the wrong things we have done, and assure us of his eternal life for us in Jesus. And as we say Amen, we're going to open our hands as a sign of letting go of all those things and taking God's forgiveness. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Thank you, lady. And because of who God is, because of all he has done and all he continues to do, we celebrate him. And we're going to do that now with a song. It's a song that I'm sure lots of people at home know. Uh, but we're going to do it a little bit differently. So this is Great Big God. And uh, we're going to sing it, but we'd really like you to help us write the verses. So we're going to ask, uh, as we go along, for different things about God that we can celebrate this morning. Uh, so we'll change those words, great big, to something else. Hopefully that makes sense. But we'll, uh, we'll have a run through as our God is a great big God. And then we will uh, try and change the verses together. So our God is a great big God and he holds us in his hands. Forgiving God straight in there. Oh, Thank you, Zach. Let's do so uh, forgiving. Uh, what can we do for forgiveness? Mm. <coughs> we offer up our hands. Okay, yeah, offering our hands. At the end of our God is a forgiving God. Our God is a forgiving God. Our God is a forgiving God. And He holds us in His hands. Okay, what's our next verse? Put it in the comments. <laughs> I forgot to mention that. Anything you want to say. Something about God we can celebrate this morning. Loving. Thank loving. you, Naomi. Our God is a loving God. Our God is a loving God. Our God is a loving God. And he holds us in. Another 
love in there. Should we do that again? Yeah. Our God is a loving God. Our God is a loving God. Our God is a loving God. And he holds us in his hands. Okay, we've got a super duper awesome God. Ooh, we've got a powerful God. God. We've got a joyful God. Okay. Should we do powerful first? Powerful first. We're totally going to forget all these. Yeah. Stop writing comments. We only get like three at a time. <laughs> Our God is a powerful God. 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 And He holds us in His hands. Our God is a super God. Super duper awesome God. Our God is a super duper awesome God. Our God is a super duper awesome God. Our God is a super duper awesome God. And He holds us in His hands. Our God is a caring God. Our God is a caring God. Our God is a caring God, and He holds us in His hands. We've got faithful. Our God is a faithful God. Our God is a faithful God. Our God is a faithful God, and He holds us in His hands. Our God is a party God. Let's do party. Our God is a party God. Our God is a party God. Our God is a party God, and He holds us in His hand. I think we miss joyful. Let's do joyful. Oh, joyful. Joyful. Our God is a joyful God. Our God is a joyful God. Our God is a joyful God, and He holds us in His hands. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God, and He holds us in His hands. Brilliant! What a great song. We'll send that over to the guy who wrote it. I'm sure he can add that all together. Brilliant. Let's continue. Uh, at this point in our service, we always have our story, and we have been working our way through the big story of God, the story of uh, how God created the world. He created us and created a perfect place for us to live with him forever. But we turned away from his plan um, and, uh, and God didn't want us to keep walking away from him. So he, he invited a people to show the world the way that uh, he wanted it to be. And so we've looked at those at the story of Israel and Abraham and uh, and they didn't quite get it right either. So now we're here at Jesus. God sent his own son down to earth to show the world what he wanted the world to be like. And so we've got a story about Jesus this morning. Uh, and as always, we need your help in telling the story. So if you hear the word big, I want you to make yourself as big as possible. Big. If you hear the word small, make it small. small. If you hear the word noisy, I want you to make a crowd noise so you can go yada yada yada. We did this last week. If you were here last week, then you know this. You go to the drill. So yada yada yada. Yada yada yada. Blah 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 blah. Anything like that. Uh, if you hear the word hungry, some of you will be really good at this. I'm hungry. hungry. Said a million times a day at home. <laughs> I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Noise. Yada 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 yada. Small. Big. If you hear the word bread, I want you to make a slicing gesture on your hand. Bread and fish. This is the best one. Make a fish face. Some of us will have a head start on that. Okay, let's start our story. A crowd was on the move. And this was no small crowd. Oh no, this was a big crowd. A noisy crowd. Thanks. There were thousands of people all headed the same way, all going to the same place, all miles from home, all wanting to see Jesus. And where was Jesus? Well, Jesus had sailed across the other side of the Sea of Galilee with his disciples. They wanted some time away from people, away from uh, small crowds and big crowds and noisy crowds. But this particular crowd had been walking for quite a while and were approaching the mountainside 
on which Jesus and his disciples sat. And as the crowd grew nearer, they started to sense that maybe they weren't alone anymore. Jesus peered into the distance and saw the thousands of people making their way over to them. He felt sorry for the big crowd. Look at them, he said. They're like sheep without a shepherd. So when they arrived, he began to teach them. Well, it was already getting late when the crowd had arrived. And after Jesus' teaching, well, bellies started to grumble and groan with the lack of food. The crowd were yeah, hungry. Yeah. Oh, I'm hungry. Jesus, can't we send these people away now? said the disciples. It is getting late and, and people are hungry. I'm hungry. We're in the middle of nowhere. Send them to a nearby village to get food. But Jesus didn't send anybody away. He said to his disciples, you, you feed them. You feed the people. Being slightly confused and, and slightly worried, Philip replied, but Jesus, it would, this, this would take like half a year's wages to buy food for all these people. We, we can't do that. And they were right. It would have taken a lot of money to feed all these hungry people. I'm hungry. After all, it wasn't a small crowd. It was a big crowd. A big and hungry I'm hungry. Crowd. And their tummies were getting noisy. Uh, noisy. Oh, yada, 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 yada. Yeah, thank you. Where's <laughs> Reverend Gail when you need her? <laughs> Uh, Sorry. <laughs> Andrew, another of the disciples, piped up. Well, there's a, there's a young lad here. Where is he? He's down here. There's a young lad here. Here he is. <laughs> <laughs> he has five small loaves of bread and two fish. But what good is that going to be? Well, Jesus told the disciples to make the big crowd sit down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The crowd sat down on the grass, about 5,000 of them if you just count the men. I don't know why you just count the men, but that's how many there were. And Jesus took the bread and the fish and he held them up in the air and he thanked God for the food and he broke the bread and the fish into pieces and sharing it around the disciples. He told them to go and hand it out to the crowds of hungry people. I'm hungry. Well, the disciples began to hand out the bread and the fish amongst the thousands of people. And as they do so, they began to realise that the bread and the fish were not running out. At first they handed it out to around 20 people, and then to 100 people, and then 500 people, and then to a thousand, and then three thousand, then over five thousand people, the, the, the food just kept coming, and everyone was fed. But the amazement didn't stop there. When the disciples collected up all the leftovers okay. of bread and fish, they found that they had twelve basketfuls left over. What? That was more than they'd even started with. Every person had enough. Every belly was full. Every mind was blown. And Jesus headed off up a mountain to finally get his alone time. Great job. Thank you for playing part in that story. Now is the time where we get to really think about that story in different ways. And if you had a chance to this morning, uh, pick up your virtual service sheet. I can't really show it up because it always comes up back to front. Um, so if you're good at reading backwards, there it is. Take a screenshot, flip it. Um, so the different things you can do, you can think or chat about the story. Uh, there's a few questions about what the story tells us about God, um, why, why the people who wrote it thought it was so important, uh, what it tells us about the world that God wants the world to be, um, thinking about how we can be enough for everyone, how Jesus is enough for everyone. We have a right way, a right writing, 
a way of writing to respond. Uh, at the end of the story, they had 12 basketfuls of leftovers. And so I want you to write 12 things about Jesus that amazes you. And think about those. We've got our move thing. You're going to need a little bit of space, maybe at a table or on the floor. And you're going to need a piece of rollable fruit. So maybe an apple or a plum or a... I don't even know what avocado. that is. Avocado. It's not an avocado. It is an avocado. A rollable avocado. Or a lime. Uh, lime. If you're desperate, <laughs> there's always a pair. Um, roll those to one another. As you roll it, shout out something that amazes you about Jesus. Think about um, how we can make sure that nobody misses out on, uh, on the good things that, that God is doing in Jesus. And finally, we have our create. Um, we will be creating a basket. And in this basket, we are going to write things, maybe not now, but during the week, write things uh, that we can do to, to, uh, to share God's love to the people around us, particularly at this time. So write different ideas in there that we could take maybe one a day and do something amazing. Thank so you, we're going to teach. You're going to need a piece of paper. And some scissors. And some, that's really dangerous. That way. Always hold them that way. Always hold them that way. That's don't, what I was Don't thought. point them towards them. Don't. Way. Anyway, you need some scissors, not big scissors. No. Craft don't do these ones. The NHS is stretched enough as it is. We don't need any more uh, demands put on it by Rise and Shine. <laughs> so you need this piece of paper to be square. So the way that I do that is I fold... It's really hard to see a piece of white paper in the sunshine, so sorry about that. Fold it over diagonally, one corner to the other side, like so. And then if you cut along there, you will get a square piece of paper and a long thin piece of paper, which would be good for writing your ideas on later. That is not quite square, but I'm doing it in a rush. And here's one I prepared earlier. <laughs> As if by magic. So, here we go. The first thing I want you to do is fold it into a triangle like that. Is everybody with me? Yeah, great. And then we want to fold it the other way into a triangle, like so. If you have a, a flat surface on which to do this, that's helpful. I actually have an ironing board down here, um, which isn't ideal. That's it's better ideal. than the yeah. <laughs> So we have, <laughs> how do I even show you that? There we go, that's what it kind of looks like now. Now we're going to fold in to uh, the middle. So the corner of it will fold into the middle. And we do a crease down the side. And then we're going to do the same on the other side. So you end up with that. So now you need to fold in these edges into the middle, like one second, like that, and do the same on the other side. These are going to be sides of the basket. We're just trying to do every craft with a single sheet of paper, assuming <laughs> that you have paper in the house. Uh, Maybe next week we do something with dried pasta or toilet roll. We'll see. Um, so then you want to fold them up to be the sides of your basket, like so. Now we are going to fold uh, the other side into the middle. Drawing a blank here. Here we go. That's a bit better now. The sun's gone behind the clouds. So we're going to fold that up like so, and then fold it back out a little bit, and then we're going to do the same on the other side. So the edge of it here is going to your midpoint there. Here we go. No, there we go. So like that on both sides. You with us? 
Now this is the complicated bit. Actually it's not. Well let's have a, let's have another step first before that. You want to fold this little triangle bit here just down so you've got a nice crease with which to work. So fold it down. It's amazing to be able to do this sort of thing without having all the blank faces staring at you going, what on earth is he talking about? <laughs> uh, so if you feel free to put that in the comments. We're going to do the same on the other side. Fold that little triangle up just so we've got a crease for in a moment's time. So on both sides there. Yeah. Great. <laughs> Wonderful comments coming in. Glad you're all able to join us. Um, now this is the really tough bit and uh, I'm coming beyond the ironing board for this. So we need to kind of pinch the sides in like so and then fold it over. This is why we put so many little creases in to make it unbelievably easy. Might need the table. Kate is getting ready with the one that we already made. Yeah, this is what we already made. So you're basically folding them down and tucking them in. There we go. That's that's one side done. Fold it over, tucked it in, and do the same on the other side with the little pinch of the sides just to. Oh, that side worked really well. <laughs> Give me there. <laughs> Who missed a crease? <laughs> Who said that? And then if you just hold the, the sides in, <laughs> it will look how it's supposed to. I mean, you've got some time to work on this. Yeah. At the after the service is finished. I mean, no one's going anywhere, are they? Let's Feel free face it. To, to decorate the box. Here we go. Look, that's not even the one I prepared earlier. That is. <laughs> that's what a basket looks like, there right? There we go. Gail, Reverend Gail has done that. This. So as I said, there's a there's a thing that you can do with fruit. Rolling that, uh, it's nice and easy. How how have we got on? Anybody need any steps repeating? They say no. Uh, I'm just reading the comments. Oh, Sue's done it. Sue and family. I assume that's what that means. Done three times because there's three thumbs up. So Now we just need to repeat that another 11 times to get our 12 baskets. Um, so if you just want to take a piece of paper, fold it. I'm joking. Let's not go there again. How have we all got on? Which, what? I'm told there's a step that I've missed. <laughs> there's not a step I've missed. I may not have shared it, but, but, uh, <laughs> oh, are you, do you really want us to do it again? <laughs> do we really want this to happen again? I'm hoping that those were signs. Oh, the thumbs were encouragement for me. <laughs> that didn't work. Okay, brilliant. All right, let's, uh. YouTube it later. There's so little. So little encouragement. <laughs> I haven't even got a square to work. Okay. Do you know what? We're not going to do it again. Yeah, it didn't, okay. didn't work particularly well the first time, but you've got plenty of time to do that. We're going to move on uh, with a song. So this is a song all about God, all about uh, how amazing he is. Um, so this is a song called Wonderstruck. And, uh, and so every time you hear the word Wonderstruck, we do a... Wonder, Wonderstruck, says out of nothing but words, so out of nothing but words, you created the universe, and I'm wonderstruck by the wonder of it all. Out of darkness, so you cover eyes, came light, out of chaos, you created life, and I'm wonderstruck by the wonder of it all. There's a little bit that goes, oh, 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 you never stop amazing me. Um, and then it says, you are God, you're the God of the incredible, 
You're the God of the impossible. Impossible, we draw two crosses with our hands. Impossible. And I'm wonderstruck by the wonder of it all. So we get really frozen on the spot when we do the wonderstruck. Let's do this together. Come on then, stand up. chat with God. Again, on your service sheet there is a, a number of things that we can chat with God about, but we'll do some together. Remember, God is always listening, and whatever's on our hearts, whether that's something silly, God can handle it. If it's something huge, God can handle it as well, because God is incredible, and he's the God of the impossible. Um, so let's chat with God now. If you are, if you've washed your hands this morning, you can put them close to your mouth, and you can pray, you can chat with God into your hands. If you haven't washed your hands, maybe just uh, keep them further away. So, we're going to start with, why don't you tell God where you would be if you could be anywhere in the world right now? Okay, why don't you tell God the song that has been played most in your house this week? For good or for bad. There is no protocol to take! Sure! I'm ready. Okay. 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 Okay.
Why don't you tell God something that you really love about the people who live in your house? Yeah, why don't you tell God something for which you are really thankful this week? Now tell God something that you're finding pretty scary right now. And one more, one more. Why don't you tell God how long you think your loo roll might last? <laughs> Amen. Amen. Uh, let's say together this, the prayer that Jesus taught us to pray. We say, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Amen. If your answer to the last of the chatting prayers was about eight weeks of Lou Roll, you've probably stockpiled too much, and you can share that love <laughs> with others. Um, we have a few notices, a few things to... There's an app, apparently, to calculate how, uh, how much Lou Roll you've got left, so uh, feel free to check that out. We've got some notices. That wasn't part of the notices. Um, the first thing we'd love to tell you about is we are trying something new this week, uh, and that is Rise and Shine Second Breakfast. Second Breakfast is going to be a short kind of morning prayer session. Al Rogers, um, one of our other worship leaders, is going to be leading that on Wednesdays at 8 in the morning, uh, so as not to compete with, with St. Joe. Um, yeah, so there'll be... Um, a shortened version of Rise and Shine, and it's going to be brilliant. So please join us online at 8 on Wednesday for Rise and Shine's second breakfast. Um, secondly, uh, we wanted to say about, uh, if you knew our friend Ben, uh, Ben's birthday, he would have been uh, seven years old today, and his family would really love us to remember Ben by building a den. Ben absolutely loved building dens, and so they would love us to, to if you knew him, and you wanted to do that today, remember Ben by building a den. And if you wanted to take a photo of yourself uh, in the den and share it to the Rise and Shine page or even the, the St. Francis School page, uh, I'm sure everybody would love to, to see the different dens that are going to be popping up around Bourneville and beyond. Um, I don't right? And uh, finally, we just want to say, if you, are, uh, if you are near us and you need help, or if you're far away and you need help, do get in touch with us. You can get in touch with us with the Rise and Shine Facebook page. You can get in touch with us through uh, the, the Bourneville Parish Church Facebook page. Or call us if you have our number. Get in touch. But please don't um, struggle alone. If you need help, then please get in touch with us because we would love to help. And there's, we are a, a big body of people who love each other and, uh, and care for each other and can uh, concern for each other. So, yeah, if you need help, just let us know because we'd love to be able to help you. Um, there ends the notices we are going to continue we have one more song and we have our final blessing that we do together and i think we're going to do this song with uh with with a track we're going to do it with a track <laughs> this is a song called love the lord your god with all your heart with all your soul with all your mind and with all your strength so it says love the lord your god with all your heart with your little heart with all your soul with all your mind and with all your strength and then there's another bit well where it says, I will serve the Lord with all my heart, with all my soul, with all my mind, with all my strength. You're going to get those ones by the end. And then I will love you, Lord, with all my heart, with all my soul, with all my mind, with all my strength. Let's do this. I think he was talking to me then, not you guys. <laughs> <laughs> he said you'll get it by the end. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure he said
love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. Do that again, love the Lord. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength, with all your heart. Heart with all your soul, with all your mind, with all your strength. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. As for this, I will serve the Lord. I will serve the Lord with all my heart, with all my soul, with all my mind, and with all my strength. Again. I will serve the Lord with all my heart, with all my soul, with all my mind, and with all my strength, with all my heart, with all my heart, with all my soul, with all my mind, with all my strength. I will serve the Lord with all my heart, with all my soul, with all my mind, and with all my strength. Okay, one more, and it's I will love the Lord. This is the big one. This is the big name one. So I'll do it if you read it. I will love the Lord. I will love you, Lord, with all my heart, with all my soul, with all my mind, and with all my strength. With all my soul, with all my heart, with all my strength. I will love you, Lord, with all my heart, with all my soul, with all my mind, with all my strength, with all my heart. With all my heart, with all my soul, with all my mind, with all my strength. I will love you, Lord. I will love you, Lord, with all my heart, with all my soul, with all my mind, with all my strength. With all my heart, with all my soul, with all my mind, with all my strength, with all my heart, with all my soul, with all my mind, with all my strength, with all my heart, with all my soul, with all my mind, with all my strength, with all my heart. I will love you, Lord, with all my heart, with all my soul, with all my mind, with all my strength. So we have one last prayer that we do together, a blessing prayer from Romans 15. It goes like this. I'm trying to... Uh, it flips around, so I'm going to try and do it the wrong way around for me. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him, so that you might overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, this week we will be Rise and Shine on the line at nine again next week. Uh, we hope that you can join us for a, a however long we, uh, we get to do this for. We really enjoy it and we really love that we can keep going uh, with our, our beautiful community and, and engage with wider people. And again, if you need any help for anything, please do get in touch uh, because we don't want anybody to be struggling alone. Remember, just because we're in isolation doesn't mean we have to be isolated. So have a great Sunday. Uh, get building dens. Uh, even if you didn't know Ben, get building dens. Get doing some fun things. And I hope... I really hope that you are able to finish your basket. Um, <laughs> Good luck. Have a great day and we'll see you again. Love you. On Wednesday at 8 for Rise and Shine Second Breakfast. Second Breakfast. Brilliant. Have a great day. Bye-bye.